Hey everyone, earlier this week I was wondering whether or not Elton John was a fan of lettuce. Then I realised that of course he's more of a rocket man. Well of course someone who else enjoys rockets is Kim Jong-un after his satellite images this week revealed that the oversized dictator decided to rebuild the rocket launch site that had previously been destroyed. Talks between the US and North Korea broke down recently, so the communists decided to mark the occasion by rebuilding some rockets, which will of course certainly break down too and fall into the Sea of Japan shortly after launch. Specifically, reports come out that North Korea's main rocket launch site at Sohai had been rebuilt. However, this is a facility that more focuses on rocket tests, not missile tests, and it's been suggested that perhaps they want to launch a satellite into space rather than a bomb. But then, of course, we live in an age where Elon Musk put a car into space, so who knows, watching a list of ongoing space projects has become a bit like the prize conveyor belt in the Generation game. Although I guess that reference wouldn't make a lot of sense in a country like North Korea where making a fool of yourself in the potter's wheel is followed by a visit from the state police rather than humorous expressions from either Larry Grayson or Bruce Forsyth, depending how old you are. It's strange, isn't it, to think that Brucey grew up in an era where North Korean was a bastion of free market capitalism. Here's one for you. I once objected to some Jehovah's Witnesses building a kingdom hall in my area because there were bound to be, quote, knock-on effects. Get it? But this is a good example of uh, knock-on effects in the real world. The US decided that it wouldn't trade oil with North Korea unless they completely gave up bomb research and also some of the slave labour camps that they do. And the knock-on effect is that the North Koreans decided to walk away and go back to normal because they think that no deal is better than a bad deal. I wonder if there's some kind of lesson to be learned there. Hmm. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.